So e-commerce has been marked as one of the most valuable business options this year with record numbers projected in the next six months. But chances are you may be sitting as an e-commerce business owner still struggling to even make a profit. Now, if that sounds familiar, I'm here to tell you that the roadblock is that you're making costly mistakes without even realizing it. So in this video, we're gonna discuss five common errors that many e-business owners make and how to avoid them. But first, please do me a kindness, like, subscribe, you know the deal, we appreciate it. So let's get this thing started. Over the last 20 years, we've helped countless e-commerce business owners get access to the funding they need to start or scale their operations. And throughout that time, we've had the chance to talk with them as they began to be able to research their market more and correct mistakes that they didn't even realize they were making when they first got started. When they found and corrected these mistakes, their profit margins skyrocketed. So from that experience, I want to share what some of the most common mistakes we've heard e-commerce store owners make and how they corrected it to make their business more profitable. So number one, trying to market to everyone. I cannot even tell you how often business owners in general fall for this one, but especially in the e-commerce industry. So if you haven't heard it before, I'll tell you now, you're never going to be able to sell your product to everyone. Not everyone is gonna be interested in or have a need for your product. Okay, Zach, so then what do I do? You have to identify your target audience and your ideal customer. This is crucial to successfully selling online. You have to know who is buying your product, what are they looking for, what pain points do they have, and how is your product the solution, where are the best places to reach them, and what types of ads resonate with them. If you ask yourself these questions, it's gonna help you figure out your target audience and how you can better reach them. When you hone in on a specific demographic, you can create marketing assets that speak directly to that audience and leads to higher conversion rates and more cash flow. Number two, selling a product rather than a solution. So this is another crucial one. There's a famous saying that people don't buy products or services, they buy solutions to their problems. People don't just sit there and think, hmm, I wanna buy a new phone case just because. No, they have a problem they're trying to fix, whether they broke their old one or it isn't protective enough and their screen shattered or it isn't their favorite color or the old case makes it hard to hold their phone, whatever the problem is. These problems are what prompts people to buy a new phone case. And it's the same with every product out there. There's a reason someone buys a new product. So you have to find out why people need to buy it and use that to your advantage. This can help you create ad campaigns that make prospects realize they have a problem that they didn't even know they had. And if they did know they had that problem previously, they should look at your ad and go, oh, this is exactly what I need to fix my issue. And then go and learn more about your product. So consider what problems your products help solve and implement them on your website, social media, campaigns, and anywhere else that you interact with prospects and judge how that changes your business. Number three, overlooking security. So especially nowadays where identity theft and fraud is such a huge crime, people think twice about putting their credit card information anywhere that they aren't 100% certain is protected. Therefore, you must take the time to ensure your website is secure, not just with credit card info, but names, addresses, email addresses, etc. Should your customer's data become compromised, it could ruin your business reputation or destroy the trust your customers had in your business. So make sure you have firewalls, SSL certificates, malware protection, data encryption services to keep yourself and your customers safe from any potential hackers. It's always better to be preventative in this case than having to try and clean up the mess that a hacker leaves behind on your website. Number four, choosing the wrong platform to interact with your target audience. Now this mistake goes hand in hand with thinking that you can market to everyone. Your target audience likely isn't on every single platform out there. So you have to reach your target audience and where they spend their most time. If you market to a younger demographic, you may find the most success having a presence on Instagram or TikTok. If you market to an older demographic, you may have the most success on Facebook. It's not necessarily a bad thing, to have an account on the various social media accounts, but you are wasting your time if you spend a lot of it on a platform that your audience doesn't even use. Even more so if you're paying for ads on those same platforms. So take some time to research or survey your current customer base and see where they spend their time. 
That way, you can put your brand or product in front of those people that fall into the same demographics as those who purchase from your business and increase your conversion rates. This is gonna help you get the most out of your advertising budget as well to ensure that every dollar you spend is being spent efficiently. Number five, poor lead capturing efforts. So most people who come across your brand online won't be ready to make a purchase right away, but they may be interested in the future. But if you don't have a way to capture their information, you may never get the chance to market to them again. So if you don't have them already, you need to implement lead capturing strategies that will allow you to market to these leads again in the future. So how do you do that? Well, pop-ups are one of the easiest ways to capture lead information. When someone visits your website, have a pop-up that offers them 15% off their first order or some kind of free gift in exchange for the name and email address. Many people will take you up on this offer and it's a strategy used by some of the biggest and most successful businesses out there. Why? Because it works! Lead capturing allows you to keep that lead warm and build a relationship with them even if they aren't fully ready to purchase yet. But once they are ready, seeing an email or text message from your company will prompt them to return to your website over a competitor. If you don't have a strategy for capturing lead information, you are basically throwing out potential customers, leaving thousands and thousands of dollars on the table for one of your competitors to swoop in and take. You already spent the money on the ad that got them interested enough in your business to click on it or visit your website. So capture their information and don't let them slip away. Now these are only five of the mistakes that we've seen e-commerce business owners make time and time again. So if you're curious to learn about some more, we actually have a free blog post linked in the description that goes over 15 mistakes commonly made by e-commerce store owners. So be sure to check that out because it also gives you tips and tricks for correcting or avoiding those mistakes so you can improve all the important KPIs in your business. And of course, as always, thank you so much for joining us on these videos. We will be releasing a new one every week on Wednesday. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. For everybody here, I'm Zach Ritchie. I'll see you in the next one.